Swiggy Exclusives presents Spotlight, a conversation with Swiggy's top restaurant partners and their secret recipe for success. Hosted by illustrious chef, fervent foodie and inventor of the world-famous Goyla butter chicken, Saranch Goyla, who is also renowned for being featured on MasterChef Australia. Watch him in conversation with our top partners. It's the weather of rain and you get to sit at home and get a warm warm filter coffee and get a warm water and get a warm water, so it's something else. Today, we are going to talk about Swiggy exclusive partners that you can give these two things in your home. I am Saranj Goyla and this is Swiggy Spotlight. Today we are talking about Saudi and we have um, Mr. Vishwajit from Delhi, from my city and very happy <laughs> to see you. It's amazing that you run a food brand that serves South Indian uh, food in a northern, northern part, part of, of the country. country. Yeah. Especially Delhi, Correct. capital of butter chicken and everything northwest frontier. So um, I would love to hear how did Saudi come to being? How did you uh, make this brand happen? And what is the story behind it? We just met over uh, a beer in one evening. You and uh, my partner. partner. It was a conversation that we were having that we found nothing, no option of a snacking in South Indian cuisine hmm. across Delhi. Pretty much for the last 20 years we have been in Delhi. So. Correct. That's how the idea yeah. kind of came into being over a cold glass of beer and I yeah. think that's how and Delhi summers are harsh <laughs> so yeah Delhi summers with a cold glass of beer can lead to some very successful food brands that's a new analogy that you've got <laughs> but it's pretty cool and um, where do you get uh, where did you get inspiration uh, to start a food brand uh, like Saudi uh, how many outlets do you have now and what inspires you to run a brand like this see uh, we have been into in this industry and you know, uh, we are from a co cafe coffee day background. So you have seen brands to grow. So we are the pretty early team members of South of and eventually went into leadership role in with cafe coffee day for a good long decade. That actually was R plus and uh, what hap what was happening in the marketplace was that in the last, that 2000 post 2000 era, uh, there was this influx of international brands in snacking side and you know those international cuisines yes. being coming in and becoming successful with McDonald's and others playing in the marketplace. The big fast food. Yeah, yeah, brands. big fast food joints. Yeah. But if I look at uh, the traditional Indian food, uh, which uh, was always dominating all this while in the from the history, was not having that uh, branded Clarence, play. Yeah, branded play. The evolution didn't happen. Yeah. So I think that there was that gap, and moreover in Delhi, I think uh, you. Uh, get uh, fine dine experience of South Indian definitely across the city, but uh, snacking, uh, it's mm -hmm. a very different. Approach. Fast food, snacking, delivery, yeah. all those segments were fairly e empty when yeah, you yeah, entered. Yeah. So, which was the year then that you started the brand? So, we met uh, in 2010 when the idea started developing, and 2011 we launched with two outlets because we always believed that one outlet will be just another mm. uh, restaurant in the city. So, you wanted, you already had in your uh, mind that you wanted it to make uh, a brand out of it. A brand out of it. Yeah. That was the approach that you took when you were starting the brand. Correct. So, what has been the toughest part of um, launching a South Indian food brand in North India? Have you faced uh, any challenges that you had to overcome? I think the basic challenge was, you know, that uh, when you consider South Indian food, the first thing that comes to mind is dosa. Correct. And dosa. Away from the place where you, that is being made, the consumption is, you know, all in a very shabby state. Correct. When you uh, eat it fresh, then you get it crispy, nice. And to get it packed as it is at your home is very different. The first thing we hit upon was to do this packaging bit on the dosa. Mm, very and, interesting. You know, uh, starting from trying to make dosas at home and packing, pack them up with all options that are coming in from different parts. Mm. Uh, eventually, it, we... Uh, got the thing right and probably safely we can tell that you know if the moment uh, dosa is prepared next 20 minutes it's fine the way we pack it oh that's very exciting yeah so that's a key differentiation when we started off in the market i think that it's a very cool way and approach of looking at it also that how packaging is so important especially when it comes to delivering a product yeah extremely and, important. Um, especially when you have a tricky product like dosa whatever is I mean, good about dosa can go wrong go wrong and uh, once you managed to do that, did you see a change in market perception? 
well uh, when we started off we kept the normal pricing which was mm. standard pricing available in the market to start with so that there is no uh, inhibitions from the consumer point of view to try a new product in a new way uh, so we went by the trend uh, but what happened is that you know people started recognizing us because of this differentiation factor so today if you have grown to 16 outlets it's primarily the consumer recognition Hmm. of the initiative that we probably took the day before we launched that's on the packaging of dosa that's amazing and if you had to pick up one usp of um, saudi what would that be i think it's convenience because packaging is all about con- uh, convenience and affordable pricing see uh, a family of four or uh, three friends walking down to a restaurant uh, you can finish off your wrap up your meals in less than 500 rupees no that's amazing that's a great price point to be working towards how do you manage your costs well uh, from day one another uh, important change that we did is that you know a lot of this traditional south indian restaurants you see 40 people working 50 people working in one restaurant uh, so we thought that you know this is the time we take the leaf out of the mcdonalds and the other people of the market that you know probably we need a central uh, commissary setup the central commissary is the place where we yeah manufacture all your food yeah and it's only the finishing that happens in the store That's amazing, and you kind of uh, made a standard uh, procedure. You made SOPs, and you built it into a proper scalable, scalable uh, venture. Yeah. So the approach that you had uh, to Saudi was very different. Anyway, you didn't treat it like a traditional Indian, you know, South Indian restaurant. Correct. To say so, you've been talking about how important packaging has been in your venture. So I'm guessing delivery is a big part of the business. Delivery is the last mile logistics. Uh, are the I mean, the fundamentals of the business today has changed because you know the last mile logistics, uh, say two years down the line or even three years down the line, were quite different. Uh, and you know, we as restauranters run know how to run restaurants or build brands, but uh, unfortunately, the logistics is yeah. a different proposition altogether. So, when did you decide to partner up with Swiggy? Uh, I think it's August 2016 uh, when uh, Swiggy was uh, entering into the NCR belt. and that's pretty much when they approached me and uh, i found the mo- model little wholesome uh, and also the credibility that it uh, was successful in hmm. market like bangalore good packaging and in time right yeah so uh, that's the i mean base of the i mean uh, south indian snacking business that we were into so time was very critical for us else we can't manage the product and consumer satisfaction is all about doing the business all about You're also now exclusive uh, with Swiggy. So, how has the experience been on that front? Well, it's it's a short time, but I think uh, the, the whole idea from our end was pretty simple to obviously partner with a credible first party, as well as you know what happens is that you know yeah. that you know the essence of delivery in the right time to a consumer is very important. So, I think th- that made uh, mm. our life easier to get into this fold. Uh, other than that, yes, uh, we know how to run restaurants. Of course, build restaurants and build brands. And I'm sure they are experts at um, at giving this promise to the customer. You are already at 16 locations. Um, do you also feel that now that you're connected to Swiggy, you would also want to go to locations where they are stronger in? Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, the you know the order, the same, the order size and the the number of orders that they gather from different parts of the city. Uh, are also very important for us when we look at our expansion one is yes our exposure to cafe coffee to we know probably the streets where things happen yeah but still there is an ecosystem which is online mm-hmm. you know not that so much of an offline thing and ideally as entrepreneurs we want 50 50% on online and offline business to happen so i think once it is 50% uh, we definitely you look want to do that yeah and you've been seeing a increment in that part definitely there is an incremental sell that comes in on the organic growth side uh, which is driven by the online st- the online platform it's amazing so because you've been talking a lot about strategy yeah. and we've been talking uh, a lot about building businesses let's let's have a little lighter movement in this conversation oh definitely and i would like to do a little spicy rapid fire almost like that mulga puri spicy rapid fire with you would you be game to do that sure It's good. They're going to be personal questions, so I'm sure you'll be able to answer I'll them. Take it. Fine. First outlet. Nehru Place. First employee. Uh, Chandan Gowda. Is he still there? No. Okay. Uh, first 
इडली सांबर दैट्स नाइस Which is a better food city, Delhi, Mumbai, or Bangalore? Oh, uh, my city, Delhi. Yes, my city also Delhi. Well done, that's a great answer. <laughs> And um, okay, delivery or dining? I think fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. Yeah. You choose one. I think you know uh, there is role for both the sides to play. First review or compliment you ever received? Well, it was wow, easy and convenient. So that's how I received it. Uh, me, so perfect. Nice. quick good feedback but for now if you had to share three key moments with people who are looking for inspiration or who are in this industry what would those three things be i think it's an interesting time at this moment and i think uh, people who have the knack for food uh, should give it a shot um, the essence here is to uh, i mean say lay down hmm. your vision and you know probably do the r&ds as in depth it so can be possible vision and r&d is a must yeah and then obviously you need to reinvent uh, continuously and meet the consumer expectation flexibly because flexibility is very important in this marketplace mm, flexibility and uh, taking care of your customer means everything thank you so much for your time uh, all the best with saudi please bring it to mumbai too oh, so definitely that... definitely we will love to be in mumbai very soon That was a very interesting chat as to how you can serve different cuisine in different cultures in different cities and still be a success story. Also, how Indian food brands can be pan India brands and uh, can very well take on the international players as well. Well, I'm Saranj Goyla. This is Swiggy Spotlight, and we will continue to share such amazing stories of restaurateurs from across India.